Hello, welcome, I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm gonna talk specifically about what it means to saturate your inner world with the end result. How do you do this? How do you saturate your inner world with the end result? In my opinion, this is the only thing we have to do to manifest. Essentially, we are changing the way we dominantly think and feel about ourselves primarily when it comes to our manifestation. We're saturating ourselves with the end result to think and feel differently. And that's going to produce the, the manifestation in your 3D reality. So how exactly do you do this? Before I jump in, please know that I have lots of self-study manifesting courses. There's 15 courses down there. It can help you manifest a specific person, new love, money, feminine energy, and self-love. So you can check them all out below. Okay, saturating your inner world. I think, I don't know if Neville Goddard used those specific words. I do know he used the word saturate. I love that word. That's really how my practice of manifesting feels to me as well. It's always what I'm focusing on. So when I'm focusing on doing a manifesting practice, I'm going for quality and not quantity. So people who do manifesting in more of like a quantity type of manifesting style, they're going to go for like a lot, a lot, a lot of time saying maybe an affirmation or a lot of time saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't really know what they do, but they repeat stuff a lot. And I'm not saying I don't repeat or I don't practice, but it's more like um, saying affirmations that don't have a lot of feeling tone. So for me, I go for a feeling of saturation with the end result. It's a quality type of manifesting technique experience. So what does that actually mean? To me, what that means is you want to take yourself into an imaginal state where in that state for that moment or those few moments, you literally feel like the person who has your desire. Now we are able to do this by focusing our minds and by really taking ourselves through our imagination into an inner experience. So the classic ways we're gonna do this would be through an imaginal act, through inner conversations. Inner conversations are a very potent way to manifest. Um, scripting is also gonna take you into a potent imaginal act. And you can also do it with affirmations. Just a lot of people sometimes stay kind of flat with their affirmations, but you can go a little deeper. So. When you're doing any one of these techniques, if you're going for saturating your inner world, what you want to do is make sure you're creating a real deep inner experience of being the person who has your desire. A very easy way to do this, especially if you're manifesting a relationship, is through an inner conversation. What I recommend when doing a technique like this is and you don't have to do it this way every single time, but if you're serious about manifesting a relationship, I would set time aside every day in your life to close your eyes, be in a quiet room by yourself, close your eyes, and you want, and I love actually wrapping my arms around myself because that makes me feel like someone else is wrapping their arms around me. Perhaps I'd be laying down in bed, most likely I would be. And you want to hear your person start saying the things to you that you would love to hear. Those things are gonna be something like, you're the most amazing person in the world. I'm madly in love with you. I love being right here with you. I love holding you in my arms. I love how it feels to be with you. You're so amazing. You're the most amazing person I've ever known. So I just did a real tiny one right there. I, I dive deeper into this type of work in my courses, but that's just a tiny inner converse, conversation. And what it's going to do is in the moment of doing that small, short inner conversation, you are transported into an imaginal experience of literally being shown up for by your person of hearing these words that they are saying to you, of feeling held, of feeling loved, of feeling chosen. There is a feeling state that's involved there. The feeling state is, oh, this is happening, or oh, it feels so good. Something along those lines, right? And when you do your techniques like, like this, you do a deeper form of a technique where it's really evoking this inner state, what you'll find is, 
you're going to feel different. Usually you won't only feel different while you're doing the technique. You'll feel different when you come out, you come out of it. You'll feel like, oh my God, that felt so good. People comment on my guided meditation all the time and people really, really love my guided medita meditations because it takes them into the state, <laughs> takes you into the feeling state of having your desire. And my experience is if you want to manifest and you want to manifest fast, you want to be dropping into this deep inner state of having your desire as much as possible. What's going to happen when you revisit this inner state through, again, inner conversations, imaginal acts, could be affirmations, could be scripting, but you're really going there and you're really in that moment feeling like the person who has your desire. What you're going to find is you more and more are literally going to start to change. This is what this is what it is to saturate your inner world. You're practicing these inner states of having your desire and you are literally going to inch by inch step into a new version of you. That new version of you is going to naturally know or expect or feel optimistic that this relationship is going to happen for you. That new version of you is going to just feel confident and beautiful and incredible. The reason that version of you is going to change, the reason you're going to step into that new version of yourself is you're filling yourself with the new knowing of who you are through your thoughts and through the way you feel. Your whole body is going to change. You might even change the way you look. This happens to a lot of people. It's like when you start, the outer is a reflection of the inner. So when you start to implement a lot of self-love techniques where you're telling yourself how incredible you are, how amazing you are, and you're implementing techniques of hearing your person tell you that they love you and that you're the most amazing person in the world, you're really starting to create the inner experience of it happening. You just believe that this is going to happen for you. You change. And when you change and you step into this new confident version of yourself, the manifestation is inevitable. And the thing is, you will know that. You will know that it is inevitable. You won't need me or anyone else to tell you it's inevitable. Deep in your being, you will know. So our work always is to saturate ourselves with feeling like the person who has our desire. There's so many different ways to do this. Every single technique you have ever learned will teach you how to do this. I have I have all my courses. I teach basically every technique in most of the courses and Everything you've learned like on my channel, all my YouTube videos, I'm always talking about these types of techniques. But the whole point is for you to really start to feel like a new person. As you become that new person, your outer reality will have to change. It just does because it's only just a reflection of who you are. That's all that's happening out there, okay? All right, thank you for being here with me. I love being here with you. I'll see you all soon. Bye.